Getting energy doesn't mean you have to sacrifice your health. That's why when I need energy, I get clean calls. Yerba Mate. It's organic, healthy for you, jitter-free. Also, every can can change a life because 50% of their net profits go to drug addiction recovery. So get you a clean cause or a drink that supports a good cause, endorsed by Relentless Hope. Now I'm going to get all hopped up. Hey, what's up out there, everybody? You know who it is. Dave Cravens here from the Relentless Hope Podcast. <laughs> and I'm Jonna Cravens. Yes, I know my name. She took my... <laughs> You're trying to cut me off. I'm going to have to start having D-Money over there on the controls. What up, D-Money? Down here in sunny southwest Florida at the 239 Uncensored Studios for another episode of this tomfoolery, if you will. Here we are. My savage wife's over there. Stop glazing, bro. my savage wife. Stop glazing. She's cutting me off because she's trying to keep me from doing that. (laughs) So I've had more people say they like it than not. Like it, so. Oh yeah, they all love it. So how you doing over there? Chilling, bro. Life's treating you good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you look good. And hungry, hot, looking pretty. <laughs> She's always hungry. So she eats, and I gain weight. But um, yeah. So we're down here to doing this today. Let's see what we're gonna talk about. First of all, we want to thank everybody for liking, subscribing, um, subscriber count growing, views doing great. Um, even if we get shadow banned, sometimes it still all works out. But, um, so crazy to me. Yeah, but we're we're thankful for everybody who tunes in and watches mm-hmm. it, and the emails and comments, and just people personally, you know, texts and stuff that they love it. So that means a lot to us because we yeah, don't come down here and do this because we think we're better than anybody else or we don't have any problems. It's actually the total opposite. For sure, we're two broken misfits just trying to get through it like everybody else, and we're sharing our story trying along to the spread way. Spread some hope along the way. Some hope. Got me a clean cause over here. Been on these um, flavors, these lemonade teas. I've been drinking a lot of these lately. Mm-hmm. Um, they had some candles. So click on here, go to clean cause. Oh, the candles. Yeah, good. the candles are good. Um, got a little koozie on here, clean cause. So fresh and so clean. Fresh and so, so clean. you know, we love them and they take care of us and, and we try to take care of them. Going to be an Instagram giveaway where there's three months subscription free. Mm-hmm. They're in the works of putting that together. So be on the lookout. On the Relentless Hope Instagram below in the links. Go follow us. Do all that. So let's get into this today. All right. I'm buddy. feeling a little um, you know, some events have happened. Mm-hmm. Some things have happened. Um, you know, man, this is gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get through this one probably. But um I know you got this. Um, yeah. Uh so you know, you always hear the stuff like you reap what you sow. Absolutely. And, and and you make decisions. And not every person has probably made some of the bad decisions I've made or you've made or yeah. we've made in life. But, you know, just because you get clean and sober mm-hmm. or you get set free or whatever you want to call it in recovery, whatever you choose to change call it life. that works for you, change your life, um, you know, stop getting arrested and, and start trying to be a, a good member of society yes. or stop doing shadiness doesn't mean that everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, King David in the Bible, you know, the guy did some shady stuff, but also said he was a man after God's own heart. But if you read up on him, his family from decisions he made was passed down, passed Mm -hmm. down. And you know, you could, it's just crazy. They try to kill him. One brother did this to the sister, you know, just craziness, you know, and, and we had an event that happened and, um, my daughter madison Mm -hmm. got married which congratulations madison you know what i mean um you know thank god she had a good stepdad Mm -hmm. and a good mom that was there for her because i wasn't the best dad obviously right um so you know just because you change your life and 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 you live a certain way doesn't mean that every relationship is going to be restored the way you would want it to or the way you would hope it to be right because there's hurts that have happened. And, you know, I, I had one of those, you know, I, I can remember somebody telling me about Madison one time saying, you know, she's eight today mm. and a guy that was working with me, but tomorrow she'll be walking down the aisle and you might be, not be there. Right. And I go, Oh no, man, that won't happen. This again, you know, 
and she walked down the aisle and I wasn't there, not invited, rightfully so. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I mean, if, you know, if I wasn't sad, I wasn't right. sad, but, but I understand, I understood. So I'm not here throwing blame on anybody but myself, right. but the reason I'm even getting on here talking about this that day, Saturday, you know, I, um, you know, my mom was going, my sister was going, my nieces, my daughter, Ashley, and which was awesome. And, you know, they, they were there and representing and, you know, they, yeah, but, just because I'm the David who I am now, mm -hmm. David broke a lot of hearts and, and a lot of hurt. And I hurt Madison. I wasn't there for Madison, even as an adult life and right. going on. So this is more for if somebody is changing their life, you know, especially when you first get sober and you start really changing, you know, you're changed, but yeah. people don't know you're changed. And, and they might not ever accept that you changed. Right. They might not ever believe it. There's people right now they are still saying there's no way that he's not cheating on her. Mm -hmm. There's no way that they have that kind of marriage. There's no way that, you know, this, that, and that. Unless people know me and been around, then they're right. like, hey, that's how they live, you yeah. know. But this is more for somebody who's, you know, maybe you came to know God. Maybe you changed your life. Maybe you quit. You don't have to know God. Maybe you just changed your life and you're trying to be a better person, trying to be sober. That doesn't mean that every relationship is going to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And if you think that it will, and you've got it in your mind, it's going to play out a certain way. You're setting yourself up for failure. Absolutely. Because here's the thing about, about that is that there's consequences yeah. to our actions, you know? And I think sometimes people think just cause you're forgiven, God forgives you that that other person is going to forgive you. But, but a relationship is a two way thing, David. Mm -hmm. So not, just because you've changed, you know, and you're a different person and your life is different. Sometimes that other person hasn't gotten to that stage where, where they have forgiven yet, mm -hmm. you know, and they might not ever, and they might not ever. Absolutely. And, and again, like I said, it's not, I'm not on here to like feel sorry for David yeah. type of thing. Like no, none of that. I take it on the chin. It's a reality. And, and, you know, we always have to deal with the reap what you sow. Just right. that day, it was in real life form. It was right. It was I mean, raw. there's other things that I deal with every day from decisions I've made, and I will for the rest of my right. life, and and you know, so on and so forth. This you one too, was a and little us. closer. To this, home. well, you know, yeah, because you're like, oh Child. man, you. I feel like a failure, right? In a lot of ways, um, which I was, I did, and you know, it. I was sad, and but I was happy for her, and I'm not mad, you know, no. about that, but. This is more the reason why I'm even telling this story is because I got guys in my life and I know people who've got six year old little kids and they're like, well, you know, the I have time. Yeah. The mom, the mom's telling me I got to do this and I'm not going to pay this. And that was me mm -hmm. like, well, Madison will know when she's older or, you know, they'll I'll prove them wrong. They're not going to tell me what to do. And when I should have did the opposite, if I could only pick her up for an hour, I should have picked her up for an hour. I should have paid what I should have paid. I should have I should have called when I should have called. And I didn't, and it was kind of out of sight, out of mind. She's probably doing better without me there, and and that's a cop out, even. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That that you'll use. But what I'm doing is telling you, if you've got a kid in your life, and you you and the mom are divorced, she's remarried, or you're not around, do whatever you can do to be in that mm -hmm. kid's life. Cause today they're six, seven, eight. Tomorrow they're getting married, and they're going on, and they're starting careers. And again. Kudos to her stepfather, yeah. her grandparents, her mother, you know, all, all the people that raised her because they raised a great girl and beautiful yeah. girl. You know what I mean? I had a lot to do with about the beauty, I'm just saying. But, you know, what I'm saying. but no, but, you know, they, they raised a great girl and, yes. and I wish her and her husband Successful. the greatest. And I pray to God, you know, that's something that I only I can deal with myself. Right. Now, do I walk around every day and say, well, I mess it. I can't do that. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? I, I forgive myself. You know, not giving myself no way out, you know, like, oh, you know, I forgave myself and God's great. I still got pain. I still got hurt. And I still got a pair of Nevin eyeglasses. <laughs> no, but I still got pain. I still got hurt. And and I know she does, too. And I and I, all I can do is pray that someday we could, That'll be you healed. know, God will heal it and restore it. But if he doesn't, I have to, to, to be me and, to and try to be that. a better father and never be that guy again. Mm -hmm. Try to be the best grandfather I can be to my grandkids, try to be the best father I can be to my kids that I have a relationship with or my stepkids 
or, or who, whoever, and, and I don't call them Steph, they're my kids too, but, right. you know, so God, God can do anything, but if you think, you know, the reap what you sow thing ain't true, man, it's so true. Mm. And, and, and why do we share and why do we pound marriage so much and families? Because if we can stop a family from getting divorced mm. where there's a little girl and a dad who don't have that relationship, then, then let, let my story and, and, try to change somebody else's story, you know? Yeah, I think that's important. I think that sometimes fathers feel like they're better they're better off if they're not in that child's life, you yeah. know? And, I mean, God made family for a reason, you know? A, a little girl needs her mother. She also needs her father, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that just shows the importance of the role we play, and sometimes we took it for granted. Mm -hmm. I know I did. I took it for granted, and, hey, I have a son and he needs me, you know, mm. because I was stuck in my hurt and stuck in my drug addiction, completely failing Ethan, yeah. you know? So I think that's just so important to remember that, that man, people think that, Oh, well I'll have time later, yeah. you know, but, but guess what? That, that little child that went through all that pain and all that hurt, that's going to carry into their adulthood yeah. and we're responsible for that, yeah. you know, and there, there can be forgiveness, but it takes, it takes both parties. Yeah. You know? And and like I said, you know, she's she's an adult, so she chooses, you know, what she does. And and yeah. either way, I respect her and, and love her, you know, regardless of what anybody says or anybody thinks. Right. But but a more I, you know, I wanted to talk about it to be to tell people, A, don't set your up self up for failure. Mm. You gotta throw it up to God, you know, pray like it's up to God, work like it's up to you. Come on. And and if if she, you know, whatever be open to that i'm open to that if not i, I respect that too mm -hmm. I, i'm okay with that too and mm -hmm. and i know that god's forgiven me i know the man i am today i know who i am that doesn't discredit any of that stuff before mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying hurt. hurt is hurt and and what's done is what's done so if you've got a relationship out there i don't care maybe it's a mother a father a brother a cousin an uncle mm -hmm. that you're just like man i don't know if you can repair that, reach out and try to do what you can do. You know what I mean? But again, it takes two people to want to repair it too. And, and, um, and, and just, some people aren't ready right at that time and it might not ever happen or right. it might, you know what I mean? So it can't always be on, on your terms, mm -hmm. you know, just cause you're ready. That's cause you're like, you, but you don't her know heart, me. You got to know me now. Might, yeah. Her heart might not be ready. So you have to be patient, right. you know? And just because you, just because you failed, David doesn't make you a failure. Right. That just yeah. means, you failed in an area. You yeah, know? on the on on that one, I failed. You know what I mean. And I, but I, you also you need know. to have hope. Yeah, and and you need to have patience. Yeah, you know, because yeah. it's not always in your timing. Mm -mm. And and again, you know, I, I I know God. I know my heart. I know my motives. Mm -hmm. I know I know what I do. I know the Father I am. You mm -hmm. know, doesn't you know? I, I think sometimes, and I and I went through this with my real dad too. You know, my little brother, he was kind of a different dad to him than he was me, right. you know, and so I would be like, oh, man, but he he was an older Big Dave, not a little Big Dave, you know right. what I mean? Or young Big Dave, he grew up. you know, 51 year old Dave isn't the same 25, 26, 27, 28, 30 year old Dave and so on and so forth, you know, so again. There's a lot of people that are young that raised their kids though and are there. So I'm not I'm I'm not making any excuses. I'm taking it on the chin. I complete failed there. I wasn't a good husband. I wasn't a good father. Um, I was absent. So if you're out there and you still got the chance and they're young, you know, it's ain't like I can pull up and say, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese, you know. She's not six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seven. You know, I I, I missed all that. So don't miss the wedding. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If if you if you cannot, don't miss the wedding. Again, I'm not mad at anybody. I I'm not hurt. I mean, there was some texts coming in that I was a little irritated at. Right you know, so. right? Yeah, there was that some. Was, uh, there, there was, was no cooth in that. Yeah, I, I wasn't real happy with those, and you know, I won't get into that. But it's um, it is what it is. So, but you know what I loved about the whole thing was that all your family went. Yeah, you know? because they love her. That's absolutely they love her. You know, her last name was Cravens. You know what yeah. I mean? Look, like yeah. it or not, that's right. she, she, you know, you, you, you know, she, her DNA's got Dave Cravens in there. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. And but again, I'm not taking any away from her thing from her mother or stepdad no, or anybody or grandparents. They did a great job, and 
and, and I think the guy, you know what I mean? I don't know the guy. I never met him and, you know, don't have to, but I pre I thank you for that, you know, for, for stepping up when I didn't. But, um, with that being said, that was really, you know, you reap what you sow. So decisions you're making today will affect your life tomorrow, the Absolutely. next day, years on, years on, years on. So make good choices. I mean, it's funny. Yeah. We tell the kids that when they leave every day, make good choices. Especially you know. little Elijah. Yep. But I think it's just important to remember that, you know, so many people think, Oh, I'll have time later, but and there's no time like the present. No, you know, no, there ain't. And that's why we do this. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I, I've had people say to me, bro, I don't know why you get on there and say that. Like, because I think that some people think just because you get saved, you know, and you're serving Jesus, that everything's just going to miraculously no. just be perfect. But that's not real well, life. Well, it's it's kind of like, you know, people say to us all the time, you and John are so well put together. Like your shirts mm-hmm. always match. Yeah. And you and, and we do take pride in that. You know what I mean? We like to vent yeah. ourselves. See us in the work truck. Yeah, but see us in a work <laughs> truck. Yeah, it's crazy. But um, but you know, social media and what you see can make people think there's a there's a whole different thing. You know, we have struggles. We we're not perfect. We there's no. days we're at each other. There's mm-hmm. days that I fail, you fail. There's days I'm not Same a perfect nature. dad. Right. You're not a perfect, perfect mom. mom. And you know, like you said, sometimes you think because you get saved that this you live this whole perfect life and Rocking and the, the, the past is still the past. It's there. Yes. You know, you always don't say, Oh, you're gonna leave it in the past. Some things you can't leave in the past. Mm-hmm. You know, and I and I've always said this, you know, being a dad's way more than a tattoo, and Madison's name's tattooed on my arm. So I, I if you think every time I don't glance or see that, I don't think of her, that's you know, but your child. but it is what it is. And and you know, you know, the, the, the invitation is always there and, and God, I believe God's going to restore that relationship yeah. someday. You know what I mean? I, I totally, you know, but just because you get saved, just because you get sober, just because you change your life, just because you vote for Carmine Marciano for sheriff Not no, and you do a song with the sheriff, who would ever think that? Right. But are, are, are you do these things doesn't mean there still ain't trails. It goes back to that outlaw thing. I said, you know, I, I was living an outlaw life back then, man. I didn't care. I was doing this, this. Look at the hurt. Look mm-hmm. at the damage I caused. Look at the hearts I broke along the way. Look at a little girl who, again, there's a guy there. It's still not her dad. No. It, it is what it is. And 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 I feel bad for that because there's that void. You know there's what I mean? broken heart Yeah. Somewhere. So if, if you can work on the relationships, but don't set yourself up for failure. Mm. If something doesn't go, you know, you said it earlier. You got to let them on their time heal. Cause, yeah. cause I know where I'm at and I know my heart and I know my mind, I know my focus, but you know, you can't expect everybody else to be, well, yep, he's good now. So yeah. I forgive him for all this, you know, 20 some odd years of hurt. You sometimes know what I mean? People want to see you walk it out. Yeah. And sometimes that time lapses and what you want it and to be. And then sometimes the time lapses and it never happens. I mean, sure. I've known, I know, I know guys that I've known that, you know, got sober in life and, and changed their life and served God that they never seen their kids their whole life. Right. They're like, Hey man, I was 27 years old when this happened. And, and my daughter was 12 and I've never, you know, now she's grown and got kids and lives so-and-so and I've, I've never seen them. Then I've seen flip sides. And too. I've seen flip sides where the whole family's back together totally and, and they've got a great relationship. You know what I mean? So my goal is now is, to give my all into my kids and my marriage and my life and, and try to do what God's called me to do and be the best father and grandfather I can be. That's right. And, and, and if somebody's, you know, opens up and that even goes with Adriana and things we deal with, you know, with, with kids mm-hmm. relationships that are strained and, and they're like, well, you wasn't like that when I was there. Yeah. No, it wasn't, but you know, God can, I can be can now heal that, you know? Yeah. So, once you get to a certain age, it's up to you to forgive too, man. You can't, you know, you got to forgive people and forgive ways. yourself, you know. And you can't have a relationship with just yourself, right? No. Well, you can, but I don't know what it's kind a very of boring. That is. It's a very boring <laughs> one. That don't sound right to me. <laughs> You're going to hell, man. But keeping it real, you know, keeping it real on the Relentless Hope podcast. While you're at it, so check it out. Go check out Nautical Bowls. We yes. got these fly fit t-shirts. Links in the description. Makes everybody look good. 
Of course, you know, we only rock them Nev and I wear sunglasses. You see Bob back there rocking them. And um, clean calls. And we got a new thing we're going to be. Can't disclose it yet. Can't disclose it yet, but it's another affiliate and a sponsor, which is I'm really excited about. But, um, you know, we just wanted to hop on here today and just say, just because you change your life and, and let Jesus take control doesn't mean there's not consequences. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Jesus can forgive you, but if you rob a bank, you're probably going to prison. You know what I mean? And, and if you're an absent father, Thanks. you might not be invited to the wedding, and rightfully so. But um, I, I'm a good dancer. Gotta... <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I, <laughs> ain't nobody there is probably dancing better than me. I'm just going to be honest about it right now. I didn't see nobody doing the mega worm. I'd like to see that. <laughs> I, can, I can do the mega worm right now. Let's go. Well, I'm not going to do it in here. I'll knock these <laughs> lights over. Diana don't want to have to clean up this stuff when I knock stuff over. She's tired of cleaning I'm up already. You, Diana's baby. tired, man. <laughs> You're a full-time job. I'm a full-time job. We got signs fall off before. We got things going on. Diana's had a Listen, she's, she's taking care of bearded get. dag on dragons. She's adopted <laughs> one over night. there. She got to go get him some new Jordans. She's rescue. She gonna she got her bearded dragon. She's gonna get him some new shoes. I want him to get him the little bearded dragon some Jordans. How many how many feet do they have? How many feet does he have? Four? Yeah, four. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're an that. idiot. <laughs> is he a T Rex? Wait, got does he stand on two legs? How many? How many feet does my dog got? He's Can driving he wear Barbie a car. shoes? What about Barbie <laughs> shoes? <laughs> is, he, is he smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee in the morning? No, but um. So we love you guys. Yes. No, no. If if there's somebody out there you need to work on a relationship, try. Yeah. You know, forgive. Never too late. Love. Ownership. Take ownership. I, I took ownership and I and I apologize, you know, and that's all I can do and 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 keep keep moving and and pray mm -hmm. for the best, you know. That's right. But if you got a relationship, you got a little kid, your kids take it from me, Don't man. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted because they grow so quick, and then you'll look back and go, "Gosh, because I wanted to be right, mm -hmm. or because I wasn't going to let somebody tell me this, you. because I was selfish and wanted to do this and whatever, whatever. You, we can rationalize whatever; mm -hmm. doesn't matter." I wasn't there for Madison. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was it. Facts. You know what I mean? And and other children too. It ain't no it ain't like I've not ever said that. Anybody who knows, yeah. they know me. I'm an open book about that. Right. And I take it on the chin and nobody goes through it more than I do. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you don't but, you don't need to tell me. I I know, trust I me. I think so, that's part of your healing too though. Yeah. Maybe it is just it's just being able to deal with it. It's a you know? it's a constant healing. It's like from a lot of, those, of things. One of those revolving doors. You know. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of revolving going on around this door. But, <laughs> but you know, anybody who's telling you, you know, and then some people will be like, man, I was healed instantly and God took that away. And, and I believe that happens too. Absolutely. And then some people, you got to work through it. You got to work through it and work through it yeah, and work through it, you know. And, and I'm a guy who makes a lot of jokes, obviously, but, you know, she sees me at home and I'm watching ceiling fans at night mm -hmm. or, or thinking, what can I do to do this, you yeah. know. So Relentless Hope Podcast real as it gets mm. real life situations for real people all starts with a little bit of hope sometimes you got to be relentless with it yeah. see you next time